Yeah. Well, they don't agree with that. They feel that their greater good is more important than your greater good. Well, you know, it was interesting to me that the argument was being made, if you're vaccinated, why do you care about me being vaccinated? You're protected. And that's why we are at the Om uh, Omarion, Omicron, Omicron variant, right? That's why we are where we are, because yeah. it's <laughs> mutating. It's becoming this crazy superbug inside of the people that aren't vaccinated. Know, it's, and it's, now it's right. affecting us. I don't know why they were not understanding that. We've got like 80 million people they that understand. are not vaccinated. They, 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 they understand. They we, don't want to. Yeah, period. We all, we all choice, understand. I guess. But we all understand that so, when it yeah. comes to, for example, secondhand smoking, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't want, I don't smoke and I don't want you to smoke next to me because I don't want to swallow <laughs> your smoke. But okay, Jed. So let's discuss, yeah. let's address the elephant in the room because you were supposed to join, you <laughs> yeah. were supposed to join us in the studios mm -hmm. weeks ago, but you couldn't because ABC has a very strict policy. Uh, you can't get into this building unless you're fully vaccinated. Everybody in this room knows that and is vaccinated, but you mm. made a conscious decision not to get the vaccine. Now, the CDC says a person is 10 times less likely to be hospitalized from COVID and 11 times less likely to die if they've gotten the vaccine. Okay, so why didn't you get it? Yeah, so my story is a little bit unique. I'll share that first before I get into those CDC numbers. But Remember, we have I only have a certain have a medical... amount of time, Jed, if you want to get everything yeah, in. I have, right. So I want, to, I want to let people know why I'm not there. I have a medical exemption to the vaccine that's been written by my infectious disease vaccinated specialist in New York City that's been co-signed by three other doctors. I'm not a candidate for this vaccine. I also have sky-high, multi-tiered, multifaceted natural immunity, very, very high, that has also been proven, it has been shown, and it is substantiated by letters from these doctors. So for me, personally, this vaccine poses a greater risk than a benefit. I'm also not a risk to any of you. I know there's been a lot of debate about that, but I have these doctors who've gone on record with that as well. So. My point about all of this is that I am not anti-vax. What I really want is for people to make these decisions for themselves. I want every one of you to sit with your family members, to sit with your trusted doctors and to say, what is the best decision for me? However, I do oppose mandates. I oppose them on the fact that Let's look at the science. This is a vaccine that was created to prevent severity of disease and to prevent hospitalizations. Now, we can have a whole debate on that in itself, but the vaccine does not prevent you from getting COVID and does not prevent you from transmitting COVID. Oh, my COVID. goodness. Reality, no, and we have that's seen that. not so. Come on. No, You've been at Fox TV too don't long. Have to enjoy. You don't have to listen to me on that. You don't have to listen to me. You can listen to the director of the CDC. You can look at the CDC's website. <laughs> that is why masks were reinstated for people who were vaccinated because they said, and they admitted, they came out and said, this for this Delta variant, transmission I is going I, to be a thing for vaccinated and you know unvaccinated what, people. So I'm not opposed to the vaccine, you know but what, I am opposed to the mandate 100% on the grounds of science. thousand people have died from COVID, including right. Manny's in-laws. And I just, we've been friends a long time, but I just, uh, Manny's parents, I just don't understand why you would choose to prioritize your personal freedom over health and safety of others. And so I just, I just, I just so really again, don't think that we should again, allow Sonny, this kind of misinformation again, um, on, again, on our Sonny, website. Again, Sonny, I am we've prioritizing We've had the United States Surgeon General debunk. Yes, I heard what he said. Everything that you've just said, and I just don't think no. we should we should so when you allow have this kind General, of misinformation on, on our air. I'm, Sonny, I'm really sorry, Sonny, my friend. First of all, I'm really sorry, Sonny, my friend. First of all, I would say to you as a friend, what I just said to you is, I am prioritizing my health, and people talk about the common Over good. Over the health and safety of other people. You're not going to have a common good people. if you're not prioritizing your own health. You have the, the Surgeon health and General. Safety. This should other sound people. very. General, so this should sound very familiar to you, Jed. This should sound very familiar to you. We got to go to break. And so I have to say, <laughs> uh, thanks to Jed follow and Diane Wheeler, you can buy Jed's book, Dear Hartley, starting today. And everyone in the audience, you're each going home with a copy of it.